Alright, hey guys, this is Beast23 Sundowner with another video. Um, this one goes out to FSX Request. He wanted a video on how to auto land. And, um, well, here goes nothing. Alright, so I'm landing at Jen Mitchell International Airport, runway 19 right. The first thing you're want are gonna want to do, doesn't matter if you're VFR or IFR, you're gonna want to um, go to the big map for Flight Simulator. And whatever airport you're landing at, you're going to want to select that. So, this stuff comes up right here. Um, if you don't see your um, runway on here, click the actual airport itself. It should say Jen Mitchell International and then the airport code. Or, see right here, the airport name. Sorry. And this whole crap load of frequencies come up right here. Whatever one or whatever runway you're landing on, for me it's um, 19 right, you're going to want to select that and see there's a frequency 110.3 and an ILS heading 189, you're going to want to remember these. First thing you're going to want to do now is um, go down to the nav 1 box, doesn't matter which plane you're in, um, it needs a nav 1 box and right here um, it should say like 117.2 for the default frequency. I already have my frequency for the runway in the um, active nav one, but you're gonna want to change it into the, or you're gonna want to change it in the standby position, then switch it over. Next thing you're gonna want to do, I don't know if this actually has anything to do with it, but I put the um, heading for the runway in the Omni Bearing Selector Nav 1 and um, okay, that was weird. Um, I put that right in there for the Nav 1 and um, then the heading for the runway also in the Autopilot Heading Reference and I usually do an altitude hold of 3500 And the only two things um, you're going to need to monitor if you did this right is the speed and the flap setting. If you have everything else set up right, you're not going to need anything else. As you can see, this thing pretty much has a mind of its own right now. It's climbing all by itself. I'm not doing anything at all. And where is it going? There we go. I just had to click that in the right way. Now it has a mind of its own. So if you've done everything right, it should kind of turn on its own to line up with the runway. And it should start descending on its own also. I'm going to do it from the outside view. Now right now, I'm doing VFR. This is going to work this exact same way for IFR.
Now for me it's a little side to side because I didn't um, start out straight towards the runway and I didn't give it enough space. So, um, I don't know, it'll still work the same. And normally, as soon as I hit this stuff right here, this white line in front of the runway, I take the autopilot off for a smooth landing. That usually helps with the flare. So your airplane doesn't get like, or it doesn't totally crash and get screwed up. And that is how to auto land. And that was a crappy landing also. Alright, well I will see you next time. And I hope this helps for you guys out there.